Hi everybody, this is John from ATX Aquatics. Today I'm going to show you how I changed my kind of useless side yard into a rainwater collection system that I can use for watering my yard. And because I'm a fish guy, I also set up some uh, outdoor kind of breeding ponds which I can use. And all of this will hook into my fish room so that I can uh, reclaim water that I change out of that as well. So sit back and relax and check it out. So we have a little bit of water in there. We have the sponge filters, which are run to the big pump, which I'll show you in a second. We have the kind of pseudo matten filters, which are really just designed to keep little babies out of the drain. And I did a little, I saw this trick, I can't remember who showed me but if you do this little uh, u-shaped deal and drill a hole right there then you won't hear the water noise not like i'm going to be out here listening to it but i just figured it's a good idea so uh yeah so we got that it's a little bit full um 
We got this one just starting to fill up. We got the sponge filters. So we're gonna run two in each one. And same thing, each one of these is a little different. So, um, but I got the hole drilled there. And that one as well. There's a little air pump, uh, which I just had laying around. So I upgraded my other one, that one, to a different one. So might as well use it. And those guys are supposed to be good for outdoors. This should go kind of crazy. Water hyacinth is they use for sewage and all kinds of stuff. And it has beautiful flowers. So can't wait to see that. So I've had a few of these things in the past. Um, they seem to work pretty well. This is what I'm gonna use to hook into that big pump there. So that we can water the yard with fish water and with uh, rainwater. So I've had one inside the house in the fish room for a while. Seems to be holding up pretty well, so. But I'd try it again. Let's see here. Yeah, they're kind of big and bulky, so you gotta have a you gotta have the space for them, but. They really, it's a really great hose on here, which uh, prevents kinking like crazy. So it's well worth it. So this is a little deal that put this, I'm gonna put this on the, the trellis over there. And then this, Goes in. I can't see that. This goes in like that, and then it's got full range of motion, which is really great. What we basically have here now at the end of that is <clears throat> rainwater coming off the roof that drains about half well, about a quarter of my roof so coming down it's going to go through the ground there so i can don't trip over it it's going to go into that t come into the silt tank when silt tank fills up it's going to run through this kind of pseudo matten filter here um, to kind of keep the leaves and stuff out of the big tank. You go through that, <clears throat> come up, go into there. And then when I want to water the yard, we've got this big guy here, it's probably too big, we'll see. And it goes under and over to this guy. And Close that off and then we open this up and then we've got water which will come to this new guy that we just put on. And like I said, I really like these things there. So they lock and then to unlock it, you just pull it out. And the, um, the hoses so far have lasted pretty good and so is the mechanism. So I'm kind of digging them. Worrying Bean came to help. 
Ori is helping in the only way he knows how. So what we're waiting for is I want to test whether or not uh, the overflows work. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up all the way. And what should happen is the overflow should go out right by Ori's head, should go down, should go over. Um, it's going to go down underground right there. All the way down to there. It should come out here. Hey Ori, thanks for your help, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the air and we'll see what happens there. A little bit violent, but everybody's participating. Yeah, those are a little aggressive, but I'm going to leave them that way for now. This is our first uh, rain since we got the rain barrel installed. And all these guys, I'm trying not to get everything wet here. But um, yeah, we'll we got my pink umbrella. We've got to have a pink umbrella around. And it uh, looks like we're getting drainage from the roof here. It's just sprinkling right now. <laughs> We're getting a fair amount of water there. So. so that's going down this pipe as we talked about before, underground to there. And then it's going to go into this silt tank. It's starting to run in there. We're going to see what's going to happen. Ultimately, it is interesting that the water literally turned green. It's because it's uh, pollen season here. The oak trees are all going crazy and dropping green stuff everywhere. So everybody with allergies in Austin at least is uh, going nuts right now. But what's interesting is that our little kind of pseudo sponge filter there is kind of doing its job. I mean, it's preventing a lot of that from getting a significant portion of that from getting through. A watch pot never boils. The sponge still is cleaning the water a little bit. You know, some of that pollen obviously is going to get through there. Um, but over time, it'll get a little better and better. That's why I think I'm going to do some kind of constant filtration on that, which will clean this water kind of while it's waiting so that it, when it does fill up and goes into the big tank, it'll be kind of processed a little bit. So I think I'm going to have to raise that sump up probably, I don't know, eight, 10 inches so that we get a, we keep a volume of water in here all the time. And then I'll process that water with uh, kind of a matten filter kind of an idea. So we'll see. Looks pretty good so far. And still hasn't gone off yet. Uh, rain's kind of letting up. Supposed to get an inch and a half or so today. Uh, but it's going to be dark. And it's going to be cold. So I don't know if I'll be out here. So, I think I'm going to manually kick this thing on. Which just takes this little action. So then... <clears throat> Boom! We already saw that work. So fill in the rain barrel. So it'd be interesting to see if we just get um, an inch today on 
on that roof and you know the area up there which goes back quite a ways um, and into your brain how much does that mean inside of there so that's going to be an interesting kind of test yeah boom and she's off so that thing puts out some water this is a one inch pipe um, right there um, and I think it's a half horse sump so that thing will do some business it doesn't mess around now I notice the the water on that side of the silt tank is about the same as this water maybe this is a little cleaner um, so we'll see as time goes on, especially when I get some filtration going on that deal. And these guys really didn't fill up yet, but inch and a half, they're gonna they're gonna reach their thing. Um, I already started drilling. The, so this is just too high, gravity-wise, to feed um, from those tanks. There's not enough distance vertically between this tank and those tanks even though they're on these stilts so i'm gonna drill i started drilling here but i need a sharper bit really to get through that i'm gonna drill that put a bulkhead there and then i'm gonna run this guy over into there so it's a Gravity wise, it'll be a lot um, lower, which should fill it up. And that'll be about the level I think that I'll want to keep that water at to do the filtration. So, final update on this on my little project here. We did actually install some, <clears throat> some pipes in there and made that into kind of a pseudo matten filter uh, had a little extra air laying around so with that big pump I have so that, why not there's a lot of surface area on those sponges going all the way down so let's uh, go ahead and use it so we've got one installed in each one of these it's going to move some water all being powered by that little guy air pump there these guys look pretty happy so we got the two sponge filters and the matten filter in each one of those and then on this one I went ahead and did the same kind of thing even though there's really nothing going to be living in here what that will do is kind of uh, continue to clean this water on this side so that uh, water that gets pumped up into the rain barrel is going to be as clean as possible. So yeah, that's kind of the last update. So now, this thing right now is about halfway full. We had a little rain the other day. Uh, and Oh, and the other thing I did was this outlet here, when it fills up, was uh, I didn't have any pipe on there. And right at the bottom of that thing is my outlet. So that would have shorted that sucker out pretty quick when it filled up. So I went ahead and ran that out to the front yard there. Uh, so yeah, so we're uh, we're in pretty good shape. Now we're just going to add some fish over here. Do a little uh, pond breeding project. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in there. Maybe some goodyids, uh, white clouds. Uh, maybe some swords. Um, so we'll see. 